two. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. That's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry, can't be more help. And that'll have to be enough. Aye. All that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll put pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world then can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life. One where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a reread program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor? Is that... What I truly am. Ah, all of our nights work. What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd asked if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. the two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Okay, so... Ah, okay, I understand. That's gonna be the rabbit and the plant. Which means that it's gonna have to be like this. That down like that. That from Link. And then this rabbit's gonna have to be at this position.
which means this one has to be linked up to Check this out. Um nom 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 nom. Seriously? It's gonna have to be to the book. Which means that the book's gonna have to be like that. For that to link up there. This is going to have to... be an impossible link. What? Wait, no, it doesn't have to be. This clock has to be either there or in the top position. Oh, I guess it just has to be a. Okay. 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 That's fine. Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first? Not this time, hun. same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. And surprise, we don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosling, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I have just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him too. Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desired signal again. See if there's any changes. We transferred successfully, for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? 
Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps? Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. simulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. What the? This wasn't what we, they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind me? No. I like this one. Alright, let's go then. That's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, I had a bit too much pre uh, pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be more. Oh, je ne sais quoi. Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if there's anything changed with John. I need to traverse through John to check the results. Oh, of course, of course. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. L Lily? Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait. I don't remember this that happening. Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze. This isn't a real change, this is... May I have your attention, please? As you know, I am rep a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. I digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering, what chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring to another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise with the rings of Saturn, or perhaps just chilling out the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, anyone has the potential. It could be you, or you. Or, perhaps, you, but I don't want to go to you. When you're in love, wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to even go there a little bit? 
No. Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. As I cough. Ah! And did you know that its surface is big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel from, to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous people equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you going to see if that worked? Of course, be right back. Back. Report. Other failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there's still things to be done. Such as... Coughing. Coughing is another thing. I have to remember to bring something up here to drink next time that I record. Ugh. Well... to finish building this house as well. We can barely afford to pay her, but you can afford the Lunar Trip Lottery! If you sell this house, you sure can! Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we really have it. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It is true for both you and your spouse. Free pony rides in space! Oh look, a wedding, good for you! But here's a riddle, guess what? We should go for the honeymoon! River? Dynamic glass slippery. Johnny, J John. What the cucumber? Whew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep is getting to us. Had I known we'd be in an all bleh, we'd be an all nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as a valuable as valuable as time is here, this isn't just going anywhere like this. Just take. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang out till then. I do have some calls to make. Thank you. 
It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, but yet... There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless the secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no de meh. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would have to be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. That's <coughs> yellow now. So I'll save. You can smell that scroll Neil ran over all the way from here now. <coughs> How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just we just couldn't make any progress. You better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. <coughs> no, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with the headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in later. Now, shh. <coughs> I thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh, yeah, where did you find that at? I thought you'd shh me. Temporarily unshushed. Oh, ain't I lucky. Well, I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There's a bunch more of them there. And in the basement, too. Ah. Huh. Alright, resume sh -ing. There's nothing else to do here. Let's go check the basement. I don't know if you can hear that, but big old thunder. Another bathroom down here. go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep.
there. No idea. really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked, our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I, accept I accepted it with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help, to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We were going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. So what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Except for needing to cough again. Well, I've been talking for three hours, so it makes sense that I have a little bit of a sore throat, but... Yeah. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm really gonna miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Oh, is there something you wanted to ask? Oh, no more questions. That's usually what no more questions means. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. See if there's anything there. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I guess not. I guess my ideas aren't good enough, game. I can't go explore. Ugh, whatever. Hmm? What is it? It seems like a little Johnny here has some hidden records up from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta, bl beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect, uh, a curious thing called memories. <laughs> beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the same at, at the time of administration must have been significant. 
You think that's what's kept us out from his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. <clears throat> so what now? I was just giving the reconfirm reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in, in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging an inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? we only gotten a couple of glimpses of his childhood memories. And even when we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain hasn't been such a pain in the arse since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Ahem, forgot my coffee. Beta blocker. A drug with the side effect of dampening memories by in internally, yeah, internally, no, interfering. It doesn't look like an F. It doesn't have a crossbar on it, or whatever it's called. Interfering with stress hormones. Let's do a good old save.